box out from under me. Oh gosh, this is not not easy. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> Oh, wow. Look at that. The earth has all settled that much. That blows my mind. I had no idea. Look at that. Wow. Well... <laughs> Noticing over the last couple of months, my floor is creaking a lot here. It's really strange. And I'm also witnessing some changes down at the base of the wall here in the bathroom. I'll show you. See, you hear all that creaking? Well, check this out. That is the uh, the tile against the wall. Look at this gap. This floor has completely dropped. If I just put a ruler on it, I don't know if that shows up in the camera, but that measures about nine sixteenths of an inch. That's pretty significant. That's a big change. So something's going on underneath the house here. I've got to get underneath the house and check it out. Well, here we go. We've got to crawl down underneath here and uh, take some pictures, take some video. Let's see what's going on. Get there for a minute. This is a squeeze because. The angles down here are tough. There's a, a pipe I gotta get by. I remember right. Alright. Here we go. Just it looks all dry. That pipe somehow. There's my feet. Bye. <laughs> Box out from under me. Oh gosh, this is not not easy. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Here we go. This will be a fun video to play back. I can't see what I'm even recording here. So yeah, there's there's a big old gap on that post here, probably because that ground is shrunken in. See that? Did this crack show up on the camera? See though, the earth is all cracked and shrunk. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. Yep, that that is why things have shifted in the room above. I mean, that is not that's not doing anything. That sucker's in the air. Wow, I'm gonna have to take some pictures of that with my tape measure there. Um, oh, look at that one. That's dropped way down too. This whole row is that way. It certainly is. There it is. See that? Oh gosh, I don't know if that's fixable. Yeah, look at that one too. Wow. That one, these have all changed dramatically. Oh wow, look at that. 
the earth has all settled that much. That blows my mind. I had no idea. So I've counted at least 12 posts that the piers have completely sunk away from. Some of them a little more than an inch, inch and an eighth. I haven't measured them all because I'm not going to crawl to them all right now. Um, so those have to be dealt with some way. These are screw jacks. They're made for lifting thousands of pounds. It's what's used to raise houses, actually, when adjustments are needed, among other things, I suppose. But uh, the way these work is you just turn this to crank it up. So I got a couple of different bars here, different length levers. Um, so what I'm going to do is crawl underneath the house here. I've got some uh, extension cords and some floodlights to set up down there. And i got to crawl in that little opening, drag these jacks in, and uh, get set up. And then just figure out what I can do to fix this thing. Um, so yeah, that's it. So you got my grubbies on. I'm ready to go to work. Oh, okay, I got some light down here, and I brought the jacks down, and uh, I have to kind of be careful what's going on here, just make sure that, oh, what's that smoking? Oh, great. Well, I got two lights here. I got a headlight, and uh, if, in case the light goes out, I think I've got enough to work with. All right, so what we're looking at... Let's see, what's the camera show? That bright light over there, that's where I crawled in. Okay, I had to get under the sewer pipe, which is about a 13 inch, 12 or 13 inch tall squeeze. And so that bathroom floor up above and uh, where I, I took some measurements up there, just uh, a couple feet out from that is like, uh, that that wall where the door into the bathroom is and you can see uh that's probably sunk so what i'm going to try to do is uh put some force up using these jacks first of all and see if i can't shift that into place i need to get it up you know that uh nine sixteenths to i don't know five eighths three quarters of an inch so, there we go. Okay, so I get that one sort of in place. Now I'll get this other one, which is on the back side of this post. I don't want to block this area. That's my, my access where I have to crawl in. So I'm not going to set any jacking in there. I'll do it back here instead. I think maybe to make this work. I need to do a couple of turns on one and then a couple of turns on the other. Try to lift this more as a unit. All right. Okay. I think, I think I'm good. I should go upstairs, crawl out of here, go upstairs, and see what that floor looks like. I'm at 13 and 3 eighths. Okay, I'm gonna put a little another turn on this. Okay, here we go. This is tight. <laughs> These 
are floor beam levelers. Yeah, believe it or not, they make something for exactly the problem I have. These are designed to adjust up to two inches. They attach to the top of the post, screw holes in the flange, and then this attaches underneath the beam, and the uh, threaded stud sits up there, and it's adjustable by turning that nut. Um, yeah, these are Simpson Strong Tie J57. The nice thing with this is if I have movement of that soil, additional movement that happens in the soil, I can adjust right, so these. So all i got to do is shorten these posts. I'm going to reuse the, the posts I pull out of there, shorten them to make up for the size these have to fit, and uh, put things back together in place underneath there. Okay, I cut the two on this side. There we go. All right. Yeah. I can just bang those. Yeah, so I think I'm going to be able to reuse the the post because i got to shorten these anyway to put in my beam levelers. So that's good. I like it. There we go. All right. And this in there. And that's going to sit right about there. Just like that. go this is day two of going uh, spelunking under the house uh, yesterday I got all set up and I replaced four of those posts with uh, beam levelers on them uh, they're not quite totally screwed down in place yet but they're set and the weight is on them um, so yeah I'm gonna go down there again today and just see how much I can accomplish. Uh, 
six hours yesterday crawling around under there was enough. So I don't know if I'm going to do six hours today, but I'm going to get something done. go. There, just pulled those other two out. All right, good. in there slide that into place like that now what I've tried to do is cut these so I'm about midway in the adjustment so I've got an inch I can raise these an inch or lower them an inch I think that gives me pretty good um, leeway for changes in the soil either direction Okay. Put that right about there. Ooh. All right. It's a good workout. Well, this is day three on this. Um, yeah, a little slower getting going this morning, but I'm here. I've got three levelers left to put in. I got uh, six of them installed yesterday, worked up to lunchtime, that was four hours in the morning, and uh, after that I decided that was enough crawling for the day. I discovered one more post that I need to do, so I picked up another leveler after lunch and uh, figured I get these three done. Otherwise, it's been going fine. Everything's working out just fine. Um, now, I haven't secured any of these posts down to the pier blocks yet. I'm getting all the levelers in place first. Um, yeah, so that's it. Here we go. There we go. Ah, I'll chip out of the beam. Here we go. There we go. Okay. It's even hard to drink under here. This is not enough room to sit up. Uh. Let's see now. going to turn a little on one and a little on the other. I'm trying to raise this whole floor section together as a unit. There we go. Yeah, 
14 to 7 eighths. <laughs> This is day four. Today I'm gonna crawl underneath and check the alignments and level on my uh, floor beams. I finished installing the last three levelers uh, the day before yesterday. I actually took yesterday off. I let everything kind of settle into place. I had all the levelers in there and I just figured I'd let the whole structure kind of get its weight settled down onto those. So what I'm going to do is make adjustments to my levelers to try to get the floor flat. I'm going to use um, just a level and check north, south, and east, west across those beams and along those beams and try to kind of gauge um, you know, how, how straight they're running and how flat they're running. Then I've got to uh, figure out how I'm going to attach my posts back to my pier blocks. You know, originally those were attached, they were toenailed down in. I figured I'd use construction screws to secure them. I think what I'm going to do is buy some bracketing um, and use brackets uh, to, uh, you know, bind some of them down since they don't sit nicely centered on so many of those pier blocks and um, once all those things are done this project's over so we'll see how this goes today across these two beams from uh, north to south that's north that's south this is the first beam and I'm within my within my uh, level lines there on this beam going east west it is like dead on the second beam going east west boy that looks really close to dead on okay okay Boy, that is looking good that way. That's good. Yeah, that's good. All right. Well, everywhere I check down here, whether I'm checking uh, north, south, or east and west, it's all uh, within my marks, my, my bubble level marks. Uh, so that's pretty darn good. The way I'm securing these is with a combination of these uh, framing clips or joist clips, which are basically L brackets. I'm getting at least one of those on each of these posts. And then I'm using these three inch uh, construction screws on the other sides, toenailed down through.
There we go. There we go. Okay. So this is great. It's uh, solid. No flex, no creaking. Floor feels good. And check this out. I'm almost perfect here. There's like, I don't know, 16th, maybe 3 30 seconds of an inch gap there. I'll just watch how things go over the next couple of months and you know if there's any change I can get down under the house and make some adjustments. We're going into the winter season. There'll be some rain, hopefully. We've had a little bit of a drought this past season, past year, but uh, we'll get a little moisture in the ground and I can see you know how things go with that. But otherwise I'll get down here if everything stays solid and redo this grout line and I'm in good shape. Bye.